this is. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to day two. So, yesterday, I finished pulling the engine. Boom! There she is. Engine's out of the E34 Touring. We got her clean. Okay, it's all shiny. Clean up pretty well. There's a couple spots I need to put some paint on from power steering leaking, but everything is really clean. It's getting ready for the S62. Can't wait for that. It's gonna be exciting. So, in the meanwhile, what I need to do is I need to shuffle some cars around, move the N54, and park the M5 right here. So that way we can do a side by side. So, here we go. Sweeping up. Just found this thing. Base clean, got the cars moved underneath the canopy. Let's get this thing jacked up and get her ready. Start pulling the engine. Here we go. So, here we go. Let's we'll get her down. Let's take off the easy stuff first. All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to later on in the evening. Uh, kids are in bed and wife's doing more. So let's get some work done quietly. Not really, but here's where we're at. I jacked the car up, drain the fluids. You need to pull off that belly pan. I disconnected the intake, the radiator, evacuated the AC lines and everything. We did that in Mexico. Now we have to pull the belly pan off, start pulling off the power steering stuff, get into the ECU, start taking that out and unplugging stuff and see where we go from there. So anyway, guys, hope you've all stay tuned in so far and thank you all for watching. So if you haven't so far, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notifications button, the bell, so you're always notified whenever uh, a new episode comes out. But uh, yeah, let's keep going on this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, let's take out some ECU stuff. What was it? Five? T5? Drops it again. All right. So be it. Ooh, isn't that neat looking? This is all new game to me. Let's get some stuff put away and start pulling that stuff out and disconnecting the harness. You might need this. Always trying to take a picture of how everything is orientated or you take everything apart. Okay, yep, looks like you have to do them in sequence. I know these kind of only go in one way, but still, that way I have a reference later to go back to. Got most of the engine unplugged, couldn't break the bolts on the drive shaft for the Guibo, so I'll have to use the impact gun. Couldn't use it because it is 104. So tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Maybe 7.30, let's see. I'll start banging that out, but I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, it's the next day. Welcome back, everybody. So, done a couple things off camera. Pulled the rest of the air conditioning line. Disconnected the ground strap. Labeled some wires and stuff. Disconnected the oil filter housing and the power steering reservoir. Disconnected the back hoses. I broke something back there. I'll figure it out when I pull the engine out. I don't know, it was a little plastic piece connected to a hose. Dear God, help me. But anyway, fuel lines are done. ECU is off. Brake booster lines out just in case if I needed it. So uh, last night I was stuck on trying to get the Guibo bolts off at one o'clock in the morning. Um, couldn't use my impact gun because it's one o'clock in the morning and I live in a canyon and there's eight people around us and they'll hear everything. You hear everything. Maybe you'll hear the coyotes from last night. Cue coyote. Anyway, so it's hotter. Anyway, let's take some stuff off underneath the car. Let's get on the creeper, Holmes. Damn, homie, that's what's up, you know? Here we go. 
All right, so let's do this. On the back of these, there's a little square flange nut type piece of shit. Six more to go. Yay. All right, got the exhaust out. Woohoo, party. No, definitely gonna use the X pipe. Let's try and take the squeeble off. Oh my God. Oh, there we go. I felt it was done. Jesus Christ. That's more than a god bolt. Who the hell put that on? All right, here we go. So let's undo the rear diff since it's connected to the axle. Let's try 17 feet. All right, and undo this cap. Okay. I feel like I'm exerting a lot more energy on this car than I have on any other. Oh, here's one on. Don't forget to always grab your nuts. Here we go. Please? Okay. There we go. She's out. Look at that. She's out. Now I just need to un bang 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 the back and here. So I'll get that out. We'll make it happen. On to the next part. Alright, let's get this thing out. There we go. I think we're it up. There we go. We got her. She's out. She's out. Yeah! Woo! Yeah, buddy! <sighs> and there we have it. We have the drive shaft out. We have a lot of the stuff we don't really need out. So now I will unbolt the trans, unbolt it, and try and pull the engine out. There we go. Almost time, baby. Almost time. So if you guys have made it this far, thank you so much for staying tuned. I'm gonna take a small break. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. All right, break's over. Thanks for hanging in there. Let's get this S62 out. Here we go. All right, let's undo the trans base. Just losing. All right, because we still have to do the linkage and everything. So let's go up top and see what we got to do up there. Okay, so that's all done. All right. We have our engine balancer on, we have our crane hooked up, we have our trans supported with our car jack. Let's give her a little Luffy. Oh my god, I just ate Popeyes. Oh, I need a minute. Might have to. All right, we're supported here, we're supported underneath. We have a lot of support. Let's get this thing out. Hopefully, I have everything just connected and we're ready to rock. On my notes, I forgot to mention, hey man, pull out the slave cylinder, which we're not calling the slave cylinder anymore because of the times. We're calling it the worker, um, not having fun guy, not getting paid dude who does all the work. I gotta remove that thing from the transmission. The slave. Oh my goodness, yeah, dude. Buddy. Will you look at that? Will you look at that? Dude, man, that was crazy. That is good. Yeah. Lots more cleaning to do. My own special touches. I gotta order a couple parts and we'll make her look brand new. <sighs> Today we did it, man. It's out. It's pretty pumped. This is gonna be a sick build. So just wait to see what's to come. See you later. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could